So now let's talk about how you can communicate with charisma and confidence. So it's not something that you should learn, but it's something that you should access that is inside you. Because I'm sure that if you think about it, you were already able to communicate with confidence and charisma in certain situations. Maybe it was with your friends, maybe it was with your family, with your co-workers, or in any other situation. So you knew how to do it. But now maybe you are stressed or there is a situation that you are a little bit uncomfortable and you don't have this charisma and this confidence. So what I would like you to do is to remember a time when you felt confidence and charismatic in an interaction. Maybe even if it's why it was 10 years ago, I would like you to remember that and to access this feeling of confidence and charisma. Because if you want to communicate with confidence and charisma, it starts first by feeling confidence and charisma in your body. So a great way to do that is to remember a time when you felt confidence and charismatic. If you are struggling to do that, I would like you just to imagine how a confident and charismatic person would feel. So just try right now. How would a charismatic and confident person feel? And just try to feel these emotions. Try to feel the emotion of confidence and try to feel the emotion of charisma. And it should be something that you should train your body to do because learning how to feel emotions of confidence, charisma, positive emotions will really help you when you will be communicating with people. Most people are not aware that it's really important because 93% between a conversation between people is nonverbal and it comes from the emotion that you have. And then it will manifest itself through the body language, your voice, smile, eye contact, and all the other nonverbal cues. So how you feel is important. Most people focus too much on what to say. What to say can be important, but it's only 7%. And what I would like you to fix or to improve is how you feel. Feel this feeling of charisma and confidence. And you will see that your communication will really go to another level. So if you are still struggling to do that, I would like you to just close your eyes and do that with me. Just close your eyes. And I would like you just to imagine a situation that happened and where you were really confident. Just try to imagine. Try to find the situation and try to imagine with bright colors. Imagine that you are the actor and then imagine who was there. Were there people? Were there people talking? Were there any smells? Were there things that caught your attention? Try to relieve the experience. And then when you get the feeling, I would like you to just embrace the feeling that can be the feeling of confidence and charisma and you enhance in your body. And when you have done that, I would like you just to communicate to someone, call a friend or talk to your partner or talk to someone home. And you will see that the way that you will communicate will be charismatic and confident. That's it. That's how you can communicate with confidence and charisma. So practice feeling these emotions of confidence and charisma often. The more you practice, the easier it will be. Because now I can go from someone who is charismatic to someone who is depressed in a few seconds because I, was a I am able to access different emotions. So if you're not used to it, do that often and you will see it will really help you.